I'm sorry. Mrs. Graham, there's an entrance around the side for the balance. Oh, thank you very much. I'm sorry I'm walking so fast. I was supposed to be here a half hour ago, but then I had to make copies of the brief, and there was so much traffic, and I just wouldn't think there'd be all these people. Yeah, no, you wouldn't. You work for Roger Clark, then? I work for the government, the oh. Solicitor General's office. Oh, you're on the other team. Mrs. Graham, I probably shouldn't say this. My brother, he's still over there, and well, I hope you win. Besides, I like someone telling these guys what's what. Well, that was Dominican-American actress Coral Pena alongside Meryl Streep and Steven Spielberg's new historical drama, The Post. She landed the only speaking role by a person of color in the film, which follows Washington Post publisher Catherine Graham's struggle over whether to publish classified documents about the Vietnam War. It's getting some major buzz this award season including six Golden Globe nominations and eight Critics' Choice nominations. The cast also includes Tom Hanks and Bob Odenkirk. Earlier this week, Pena stopped by to tell us about landing the part. Well, I just auditioned just like any other audition. It was, it was very simple. Yeah, I went in and um, they asked me a few questions and I walked out. But I felt really great about it. Yeah. You know, Steven Spielberg, uh, the director, is, is known for not rehearsing mm -hmm. his actors before. Um, was that the case? What was it like working with them? Yes, so um, I remember we did uh, the kind of just rehearsal for the shot, not really for the actors, and um, I did the lines all out of order, and I had the energy, but I was really nervous, and um, afterwards he goes, that's great, let's do it. I was like, okay, uh, that's great, uh, okay, cool. So, yeah, he, he doesn't rehearse, but I think it allows it to be more in the moment mm. that way, yeah. You know, this film is getting a lot of also buzz about the fact that your part was sort of the only part of a, a person of color speaking in the film. What, what do you make of that? I mean, I think, it does make sense to some extent because these characters are based on real people mm -hmm. and this is a real event. And so um, in that regard, I was expecting that. Um, but I do think it's really amazing that Spielberg had the kind of contextual um, knowledge to say, hey, this is a very white movie. Maybe we should create this fictional character and mm. have her be a woman of color. Mm. So that was amazing. So Spielberg decided that they needed to be someone and, and created this fictional character yes. to yeah. have a little bit more representation. Um, I, I should step back for a second. You play a woman, Nancy, yes. who is a government worker at mm -hmm. DOJ and has an interaction with Catherine Graham, who's who's the Post publisher at the time. You know, Catherine Graham is such a legend and a woman. You know, to have this movie come out now at a time with the Me Too movement and women are trying to reclaim and really push forward women's voices in Hollywood. What do you make of the fact that this movie is being released at this time? I mean, I remember when I was filming uh, the scene, uh, Spielberg took me aside and he said, above all else, I feel like this is a feminist movie. And I feel like this is coming at a time where you have all these important women doing work and not getting credit for it. And right now we're sitting in a time where women are able to say, you know, listen to me, I'm, I'm a voice that you should be paying attention to, and so uh, I think um, I think this film just kind of adds on to that, um, especially when you follow her journey throughout the movie, where in the beginning she's not taken seriously, and by the end everyone knows this is this is a woman who should be leading this this newspaper. It's fascinating to hear you say you know she wasn't taken seriously, which is true when she took the helm after her husband's suicide uh, at the Post. But this moment of publishing these papers really, in many ways, defined her. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, there was so much on the line, and a lot of people undermined her decision to release the papers, and she made the right call, finally, because in the movie it addresses this, that when you're living in D.C. and you're friends with a lot of these politicians, and then finally you have to report on them, when are you their friends and when is it your job? And she took her job seriously and said, I have to do this, I have to release this, mm -hmm. yeah. The Golden Globes are, are this week um, and the Oscars next month. Do you think the film industry, even in 2018, is lacking in diversity? Do you see that changing at all? Um, I mean, absolutely, it's changing. Uh, if, if you just see the nominations from this year versus even last year, um, there's so many more people of color. And I think uh, there's more in this country especially, a craving to see more voices. Um, and so that's what you're seeing reflected in the nominations. Yeah. 
tell me more about you. What do you want to do? You know, as a, as a new, it's your first film that mm -hmm. you've done. You've, you've been on 24, mm -hmm. uh, the, the Fox TV show. What do you want to do next? Um, I'm just really excited to continue to represent um, people who look like me and who grew up in a similar situation that I did. I grew up in Harlem, um, I grew up in the projects, a uh, single mother, and so to have that opportunity to represent these people um, like me, I think is really just the goal. And to have the opportunity to work with someone like Meryl Streep, yes. what was that like? <laughs> Were you nervous? Um, I guess a little bit. I, I was mostly nervous because at the end of the day, I just wanted to do my job and I didn't want anything to clout that. Um, but when I went in, they, they all really gave me space to play, um, which is so rare um, for such a young actress. Um, I remember at one point, Spielberg, he had the camera on me and he just said, um, you know, uh, you've been doing so well, just do it whichever way you want to do it. And Meryl kind of leaned into me. She goes, you know, that you don't always get that opportunity. And I said, I know. So, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it, it I was nervous, but once we got started, I was just so happy. Mm. Yeah, it's a fascinating film, getting so much buzz. Uh, over the holiday weekend, everyone was talking about this. So uh, oh. <laughs> congratulations <laughs> Thank to you, you so and, much. and lots of, of luck with Thank Golden you. Globes coming up. Thank you so much, Coral Pena, for joining us.